what we want to look at in this video is primarily um, the tab function which is a, a fundamental and important thing that you need to know in any page layout program for putting together professional uh, type documents and um, but before I get there I want to pick up on one point that I didn't um, specifically clarify in the previous video with respect to the tables and that is um, choosing the color of the cell itself which in, in this case as you can see is magenta and the color of the type so um, the way we do that because in both cases assuming that we want to colorize all of the text you highlight it and the same way you highlight the entire cell block and um, what you need to do is pull up your swatches and here in your swatches as always what we have is the um, the text box in this case the uh, cell block color and the color of the text separately so um, if we want the cell block to be a particular color we have to make sure that we activate the little uh, square relating to that and I'll change it to yellow and uh, there you can see all right and then if we want to change the color of the text once again we highlight it but over here in the swatches this time around we want to make sure that we activate the type tool and then we can change the color of the text separately from the text cell fill. Okay? All right. Now, with respect to using tabs, um, amateurs, when they are setting up a rows of information that needs to line up, whether it's uh, any kind of a table um, or any kind of uh, uh, numbers, um, you know, a lot of times what people do is they just um, they just do a text box and uh, they do something uh, like uh, let's say uh, one and then uh, they want to line it up um, with uh, let's say I'll do my name and they want to line it up and so what they do is they go space 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 and then they do it this way and space, 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 and then uh, they line it up. Well, that can work, but it is a very ineffective way, and things won't line up properly. So you must learn to use the tab function um, in your page layout programs, whether it's Quark or InDesign. And uh, for, this, uh, for those of you doing the calendar project, I strongly suggest that that's probably a better way to go, as I mentioned at the end of the last video, um, that putting the numbers into each table cell block one by one is very cumbersome. So uh, I'm going to actually highlight in my current table here and delete the, the numbers, and there you go. And so um, I'm going to go to my master page. Here is my... Um, my grid, um, my cell uh, grid table, and it's on its own layer. And so uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm right over here in my layers dialog box. I'm going to create a new one, and this will be um, I'll say um, numbers. because I want it separate from, um, as always, it's why we use layers, so that we can lock um, the, um, in this case, I'll change the name of this one, because this is my grid. Okay. So I'm going to lock the grid. I don't have anything on the graphics at the moment. And um, I'll put my numbers and um, on a different layer. So the first thing I'm going to do is, in fact, come over here and create a large text box. And I'm going to make it pretty much the size of my, um, my grid. Okay. And we'll put
put that there. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and type some numbers. Now, here, I'm going to, in fact, uh, uh, type a 1. I'm not worried about exactly where it is at the moment. Let me highlight it and make it bigger so we can see it real easily. Okay. And in my case, um, I'm going to, you can see it's on top of the grid, but I'm going to hide the grid for the moment and go back here. And then um, I can either add a tab and we'll adjust it um, afterwards or not even add a tab. <clears throat> I'll just, but I'll go ahead and put tab 2, tab 3, tab 4, tab 5, tab 6, and tab 7. And so there you see, and I'm going to add a second row so that we can see how that's going to behave. Um, so I'm going to do 8 tab, 9 tab, 10 tab, 11 tab, 12. Okay, and I, that's enough for us to get the point across. And so um, now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go up under type. And uh, even before I do that, now I'm going to go ahead and turn my uh, grid back on so that I can see where the numbers are in relationship to the grid. Uh, now, the first thing I see is that the second row of numbers needs to be down in the second row of boxes. So the easiest way to uh, work that would be to change the letting. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do that. Um, let's let's just change the letting. Oops, make it much 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 bigger. All right, and so you can see I can do it manually. Let's uh, go ahead and just do it quickly. I'll say 72. Uh, that's just not enough. So in fact, uh, let's say um, 84. It's getting there. Um, uh, you know, you can keep changing it until you get it to where you want it. And um, that's about consistent, pretty consistent here. Okay, and as a matter of fact, then I'll, I'll just pull this down a little bit. And there, you know, um, I can adjust where, where this is. So there they are, uh, pretty close to where I'd probably want to be.